to the sound files with me, your girl no fuses. So the last episode we just got a lot of BS. Um because we we completed the iris route apparently and I am not satisfied with that ending at all. Nope, nope, we're getting the true ending. We we're, we're we're gonna get the true ending. I want to see the true ending. I know you guys want to see the true ending, so we're gonna have to go back and make some changes, um, and see, and like, um, and see all the lies and mysteries because we found out a lot of people are keeping a lot of secrets from us, and we we about to figure out why. Also, because this is the second playthrough of the game, um, I just want you guys to keep in mind that if for some reason. The, uh, the game just cuts like all the way to like maybe like another sink to another sink I'm just gonna let y'all know that's just because um, I saw that nothing had changed if nothing had completely changed at all that's the reason for the cut but if it doesn't cut y'all in for a treat that means something changed I'm just putting that out there so you guys don't get upset so without further ado, let's get into it. And if you guys like this game and would like to see more videos of it, then please don't hesitate to destroy that like subscribe button. Alright guys, and here we are with the first major choice of the game, which I think started it all, so... Let's make some changes. Let's see what happens when I choose the other choices. I bet you okay. That? Okay. Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is Again, this correct. Bloom Park, lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of Sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. When they keep saying things like new features, I keep thinking they're just like a previous of this game. Uh, I don't know if there is or not. If there is, uh, let me know in the comments. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important information. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. <laughs> no, we don't need the tutorial. We know what we need to do. You can always check the tutorial button. Mute file and appendix. Okay, for this one... An ice pick stabbed into Shoko. I think... 
I think this is like the only way. Oops, I don't think I should push it in, so pull out. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. Keeps going. What is this? Something happened over there. All right. So we gotta take the other path. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted up. Um, he's open. What is your plan once I am inside? Just go in. In the control room. Maybe we can do something in there. Cool. I do not True. think it will be that easy. Just try it. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. All right. So we went for the balloons last time. So we're going for this. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Peek inside, lift, or tackle. Oh, geez. Um, 2750. We'll say lift. All right. I really want to see. I really want to see what happens when she tackles it, but I feel like that's just gonna be a waste of time, and every second counts once you're in here. <laughs> it is heavier than it looks. Oh, there we go. <sighs> Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Torn there paper. are torn pieces Agent of paper. Date, you've got five minutes. Alrighty. Piece together, kick away, roll up and toss. Good God. Um. We're just piecing together. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Ah, what Done. a nice photo. But <gasps> what happened? Oh, now there's a gate. You were able to get out? So the photo was the key. I remember it clearly. One day I came home to find that photo tore up in the trash can. Where I asked Mizuki about it, she started to cry. I don't know why she tore up that photo. But whatever her reason, it seems like she regrets it. Since we repaired the photo and saw him, the birdcage. Mizuki cage. must be having a hard time. But the cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? No, no I don't. Eh, looks like fun. Just uh, grab it at the right time and you'll have the best merry-go-round experience of all time. You can do it if you try a little. Exactly. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Ride, spin more, stop. Um, let's just try stopping it first. Um, a 
can do anything. Whoops, my bad. The panda head is. Let's try stopping it. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Oh, okay, there we go. I see. These were also linked. That's right. Mizuki! Let's go to her. Got it. Nice. Agent Date, you've got four minutes. It's Mizuki! Alright. Hug her, slap her, make her laugh. S smile at her. Um. Let's try. I mean, we got plenty of time. I mean, we can we can mess around with this. Um, let's try making her laugh first. Imitate you, Date. Oh, little mini light bulb needs a change. What? Oh, good boy. Mini, mini, mini. When have you done this, Dante? Okay, cutie little mini light bulb. I'll turn you on. Yes, I will. Ah, oh, you turned on. Good job, mini light bulb. <laughs> what is this? Is this what, how you talk to your light bulbs as you fix them? Mini, mini, mini. I never said that before. Okay, um, I just need to be sure you didn't say anything yet. Mizuki's just looking at you like, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> no reaction. Because it doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay. It's Mizuki! Um... Let's try smiling at her. I thought she was going in for a hug for some reason. I don't know why her arms are just out. Nothing. Nothing. What am I supposed to do with my arms? I'll give you a hug later. I would prefer that you didn't. With my eyelid. Oh, that is what you meant. <laughs> it's Mizuki. Okay, let's try to hug her. Maybe because if oh, if the hug doesn't work, we have no choice but to slap her. So. Mizuki. Uh, this is always very sad. Oh, footprints. Dude is watching us. Oh, I know. So someone was there watching all this, maybe? So maybe when we first found Mizuki, maybe someone was there just watching us like a freaking hulk and we never knew it, maybe. Or maybe watching the scene where Mizuki came up and found her mom, maybe. Day two, Saturday. <gasps> Do 
There. Are you okay? There's still life in her eyes. Date. Oh, she's talking! She's talking this time. We healed her. Date! <laughs> Looks like she can talk again. After she had calmed down, I asked her a few questions. I asked her about last night, about the Nile message, and about Oda, and about Shoko. I know that after Oda ran off, something must have happened to make Mizuki want to hide- Exactly. Like, why did she hide like that? I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. I don't think she is going to answer. Exactly. I know from the previous route why she doesn't want to say anything. She's like, nope. Uh-uh. I'm not saying Shiza. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. Yeah. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. I don't trust you, Peter. I don't trust the boss or Peter until their names are clear. Y'all all suspects to me. After all that BS, I went through the, through the last route. Say, Mizuki, who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia in your dream. I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone... in the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Ah, she was afraid that it was like the culprit like coming back to like check up on things or something like that. So she was like, uh-uh, you ain't getting me. I told you I'm fine. So annoying. You were mute for like, for how long now? Of course we're worried about you, girl. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. I don't even understand what that meant. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. <laughs> I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Stu, you said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Oh, I, I, um, right now I'm just kind of like, what are they talking about? I was like, oh yeah, they had a conversation before the whole sink thing. Like, hey, I'll promise to take you here and feed you that stew you like so much. Okay, I, I see. It took me a minute to remember, but I remember. Yeah, pretty much. 
I'll take a while for her to get back to normal. The bus. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iba. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. Wow. Humble, aren't you? All you did was follow my instruction. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here on the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... Ah, okay. So Oda told us about this part, but now Mizuki's going to tell us it about was, it. It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I. The only thing I could think was I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hit in the column? Yeah. Okay, just one more qu This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. Oh, so it was pretty much lodged in her skull. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. Alright, Pewter. Pewter! <laughs> I'm so mad at him right now. Pewter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. Perhaps... It was you, Special Agent Date. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. Iba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Iba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's somnium. Part of Iba's self is also sent. But only a part. Not all of Iba's functions are transferred into somnium. So that's why somnium Iba is so dumb. <laughs> Don't call me dumb. Dumb. No, oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into us. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Date? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories intertwining and blending with each other. 
Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experience... But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Well, part of that was my taste. <laughs> I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. <laughs> I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. Uh-huh. It was just a little something. Nah. I remember you got a little jelly every time we hung up with Iris. You were so freaking jelly. It's like, it was like, calm down, girl. Dante to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? Exactly. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene. But she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Alright, going back to Bloom Park. Oh, so we bring Mizuki with us. All right. I thought we were taking her home or something. When I returned to the scene, I brought Mizuki with me. I saw a suspicious figure in Selling, but I couldn't be sure if of its exact location. I brought Mizuki along to help pin Somewhere it down. Somewhere around here, right? Yep. A bench. We're just talking to Mizuki then. What do you care? Wow, okay. We are roommates, right? You never cared about me ever. And I liked it that way. I don't want you getting close to me. You think I like you now because I hugged you after the sink? Did you think, aw, how sweet she likes me? Don't get it twisted. I only hugged you wow. because you were standing right in front of me. Uh huh. How about a thank Could you? Anything. Could have been a pole or cactus. In fact, I wish it were a cactus. So stop worrying about me, okay? So she says. Yeah, I do. You're turning into quite the bitch, Mizuki. Like, I get it. Your parent got murdered. Um, and all that good stuff. And you were mute and, and traumatized. But you don't gotta be a bitch about it. You really don't. What do you remember? I went to this amusement park when I was little. I was four. I remember it so clearly. This is where I saw my mom and dad smile. I had so many happy memories here. The only happy memories I really have are from here. Memories of my family are so bright and colorful. But now, this is where mom Nothing. Just wondering where this goes. Looking into the bush, maybe behind it. There was more dialogue. Okay.
Wait, okay, there it is. What's past here? This leads to the subway. The subway? It has of course closed down. It is no longer in service. This is due to the explosion at the chemical plant that occurred years ago. The surrounding district of Kawasaki was contaminated and declared off limits. Gloom Park closed for the same reason, as did all commerce and industry in Kawasaki. This means the railroads and public transportation to and from this area were shut down as well. Hmm. The subway. Aiba, does the entire track run underground? No. The track leading northward from Bloom Park eventually rises to ground level. At a railroad crossing? Correct. Then the tracks must cross a surface street at some point. Correct. A railroad crossing. A railroad crossing. Iba, do me a favor. Can you see if any cars were driving on that surface street last night? Searching. Hey, you've been quiet for a long time. Are you okay? I'm just thinking. I've got something. I picked up a single vehicle traversing that street last night. A black SUV. I ran the plate mm -hmm. through the vehicle registration database to find the owner. Who was it? And it's... Shoko Nadami's ex-husband and Mizuki's father. Good old Renju. <sighs> Renju Okiura. The music got intense real quick. So let me get this straight. You think that daddy drove his car on the tracks through the tunnel, stopped at the closed down station and carried mom's body to the park? I can't prove it was Renju. There's a chance someone else was driving the car. Yeah. Yeah. But in any case, I know that the suspect must have used the subway tracks. That explains why there were no cars parked near the scene. Using that subway station, could take the body right to the merry-go-round without being caught on camera. Daddy didn't do it. I am not so certain. Either way, I have to talk to Renju, and you can help me find him. Was last time you saw your dad? Okay. Good Think question. about a week ago when I went to hang out at Lemon Escape. Did you notice anything different about him? Nothing really. He was the same as usual. And he didn't come to see you in the hospital, did he? No. Not even for his own daughter. Yeah. Pretty shitty dad. That is very unusual. Mizuki, Renju sent you that Nile message, didn't he? What? I got this buddy of mine. Real bad personality, but real good with technology. I've got some help from them. Bad personality. There was a message sent at 805 last night. Does it sound familiar? Mizuki, Daddy got caught up in something serious. Please come to Bloom Park's merry-go-round right away. Daddy needs your help. Please do as I say. Yeah, that was it. It was from Daddy's phone. But I didn't want to say anything because that would make Daddy a suspect, so... <sighs> so you kept quiet. Yeah. My dad's never said anything like that to me, ever. That he was counting on me? I had to go. But you invited Ota along. But if we've chosen this path, we don't know who Ota is yet. That is strange. Hmm. Hmm. That's strange. I don't know if that's a glitch in the Matrix or not. Bloom Park is in the middle of the Kawasaki district. There are a number of homeless individuals in a high crime right there. Mizuki must have been worried about going alone. I don't want to say anything. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to anyone who thinks my daddy is a killer. Alright, then shut the fuck up and get out my car. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't have the patience. I don't have patience for ungratefulness. When someone literally goes out their way to heal you when they really didn't have to and just kind of like, you know, you know, they just kind of help you out and you just give them lip. I don't got no time for it. Look, I don't want to believe it either. 
I've known him for more than five years now. He's like family to me. I would never want to put cuffs on him. I would never want Mizuki to see that. Anybody around you just isn't the kind of guy who would commit a crime like this. Hey, Mizuki, tell me again. The person you saw at the merry-go-round. No, it wasn't Daddy. I know it wasn't. You're sure? Well, I... I don't know. Exactly. If you're not sure, don't keep but saying it. Couldn't it couldn't be him. Why not? Daddy couldn't have sent the message. Someone else must have used his phone. Which we... Which I pretty much put tuning together. It must have been someone else using the phone. And his car. Daddy wasn't driving the car either. Somebody else did it. The killer did it, not Daddy. The only evidence we have so far leads to one conclusion. The cell phone and the car were both operated by Renju Okio. I don't remember. It was a while ago. What about you? What about me? You try calling him. I did. I called earlier, and I tried a few times last night. And he didn't pick up? No. Date, incoming call from the boss. Connect. Uh -oh. Hey, I just got the report from Iva. Renju is a suspect? He's definitely suspicious. I agree. I think he's our number one suspect. He's been acting strange since last night. If he didn't come see Mizuki in the hospital, won't pick up his phone, and he vanishes after questioning. Yeah. He doesn't have an alibi for the time of the murder, either. He doesn't? No. Not one we can corroborate. Now, I told you he vanished. Where are you headed? Renju's house. Don't bother. I had local cops search the place. I didn't find anything. Where could he be? So Renju was questioned at a local station? That's right. Then why didn't you keep him there? Protocol. Nothing we could do. Oh, uh, yeah. If you don't got any more questions or anything to pin the crime on, they can just walk right out. He wasn't a suspect then, and we had nothing to charge him with. We couldn't hold him. He didn't give us any new information. He didn't have much to at all, really. Shoko's time of death was estimated to be about 5 p.m. yesterday. Renju claims that he was at home alone at the time. But that means no one can back up his story. Exactly. I can see boss through my left eye. I will stream the image in real time. I don't have a cell phone, never care for them. But I will can connect me to a network and range. That's very convenient. That's how I'm able to communicate with HQ. To Mizuki, I look like I'm talking to a Bluetooth. She doesn't see what I see. She does. Oh. Yes, I'm sure it's banging the phone. All right, boss. Let me know if you find something. You too. Keep me in the loop. Where the hell did Renju go? Uh, Sunpoke? What? Um, Sunpoke. Or something. You know what you're trying to say, because apparently you're a regular. Oh, Sunfish Pocket. Renju was telling me about that place. It's a maid cafe that he runs. I found it. Approximately 6.2 miles north-northeast. In Akihabara. So we're going straight there this time. Sorry, I gotta keep pointing out the differences here. It's just... I have to. It can't be. Oh. My. God. Somebody <laughs> fucked him up. Exec Ooh, display execution style. Jeez. Rend you know. We didn't get to talk to you or anything. Rend you. He took the eye out too? Ah. 
Oh, that's all I can say is, ah. God damn it, Renju. Day three, Sunday. Uh. Mizuki's lost both her parents now. You look awful. Have you been sleeping any? My best friend was murdered, boss. I don't have it in me to sleep right now. All right, guys, as much as I don't want to do it, we're going to have to end the episode right here. Oh, my God. We lost Renju so early. He was he was gone for so long in the game, and now he's just dead. And, man, they, they hung him up. So it, so any, so maybe, like, the new employer, uh, not new employer, like, the manager or employees came through, and they would have saw that crap. <gasps> They would have gotten the shock of the century, like... Dang. Now we gotta find out who killed both of Mizuki's parents. Now she's definitely, now she's definitely traumatized. She will never wipe any of these images from her mind at all. She's now an orphan. She's got nobody. That is so sad. And this music is so dark, too. Uh, hopefully we can shine some light about what happened here in the next video and Mizuki is probably shut in somewhere in a room with probably her friends most likely um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video besides the execution of both parents and um if you guys want to see more videos of this game then please don't hit it to destroy that like and subscribe button i'll see you guys next time